what's going on guys we are back with the 2022 lowrider st as you can see um some things have changed or one thing has changed since the last video my new saddleman seat has come in so stay tuned for a review on that um what we're going to be doing today is installing new grips i got these heart luck grips um i'm not sure if they're by odi or if they're by heart luck but they are heart luck odi grips um, they're dirt bike style grip they're soft rubber um, so there's a couple things you need to do when you when you transition to something like that and it's actually install a throttle tube on your harley so we're going to get into how to do that um, in case you guys want to run dirt bike style grips on your bike like i did um, so the first thing we're going to want to do today is we're going to want to take this bolt out and the one on the bottom uh, once we get those two out i'll be back i forgot my tripod today so things are going to be a little bit different but you guys will get the point um, also the reason we're outside is because i live in new england and we finally have a beautiful day it's like 65 degrees and i don't feel like being cooped up in the garage so if you hear noise in the background that's what's going on so like i said we're going to remove remove this bolt here it's a torx bit on the top you got one more on the bottom we've already removed those in another video so if you guys haven't checked that out when i installed my flow breakaway levers be sure to check that out i'll see you guys in the next clip so once you get those removed, this top cover should just pop right off. Um, set that aside for now. And then this might take some, some wiggling and moving around, but you wanna pull this bottom half down. And from there, you should actually be able to, let's see here, just pop this grip right off. Um, like I said, you'll just have to play with this hardware a little bit, get it to move around, but then your grip comes off so we can set that aside. And from there, you can see your bars. Um, this is why we need a throttle tube. So uh, on these new Harleys that are throttled by wire um, They're not cable throttle. So it's actually just a spline at the end that tells the bike. Hey, he's putting more gas to the bike We need to turn it up um, What this does is this has the splines you guys probably can't see it in the video but this has this But this has the splines at the bottom um, the grips do not so if you put this grip on here yeah it would sit on there probably and it would look all right but you would not be able to turn the throttle unless you're squeezing right at the end to turn this so what this does is makes up for that it goes on and it will actually match up with those splines you just want to play with this a little bit again it's a tight squeeze in there so I cut the camera there because it takes some fighting. Um, basically what I learned is if you pull this back, down and back without the throttle tube on there, you can kind of slide it all on together. What you're looking for is this channel right here to actually sit inside the whole assembly here. Um, that prevents it from popping out once everything's tightened down. But as you can see, now we've got good response in our throttle. Everything's on there, it's tight. Um, so you have a couple options. You can either throw your grip on now or we can bolt this back together and that's what we're going to do. So let me bolt this back together and then I'll show you guys uh, what we're doing for the next step. So now that everything's bolted back together, um, we'll check again, make sure your throttle is working as it should. Um, there should be no sticky points in the throttle. So just check that. Um, when you're looking at your grips now, if you bought the same grips I did or very similar setup, Obviously one diameter is going to be a lot larger than the other. This is our smaller diameter. This is our bigger diameter. This is the side that's gonna go on your throttle tube. Obviously the left side does not have a throttle tube, so it's just gonna be your bar. So it's gonna be a little bit smaller. Um, this is just like changing grips on a dirt bike if you guys have done that. So super, super easy. Um, these are gonna slide on, but before we do that, I wanna show you guys what I got. And obviously there will be part numbers for everything in here. Um, these had to be ordered through drag. Nobody else had them in stock. Um, Deadbeat Customs did have my grips right in stock. If you guys aren't close to them, you can obviously just order it right off their website. I believe they have like six warehouses or something like that now. So you should get them pretty, pretty soon. What I got was Pro Taper Instant Grip Glue. So this is specifically designed for this application. Um, dirt bikes, motorcycles that are running rubber grips, this and that. Um, it bonds in 10 to 25 seconds. 
So this is kind of the tricky part for a lot of people. Um, luckily, these grips don't really have a specific orientation other than this on the um, on the butt end. So it kind of depends um, what you want to do here. You obviously want to get them to line up somewhat. And if we look at our throttle tube, it is the same company. So they have the same logo. We could line it up with that. Totally up to you guys. But at the end of the day, it's not a huge difference if this is twisted a little bit. Um, as long as personally, I like to try to make both sides match. There's no pattern on the grip that is specifically designed to roll one way or whatnot. So it does not matter. But this is the tricky part. So what we're going to do, and I am, probably won't record it because it's going to be tough to do with only one hand, is you're going to want to put like four globs of glue um, along here. You know, try to, obviously you're not going to be able to put the glue on the bottom but run some glue along the top. And then on your grip, you're gonna wanna coat the entire inside flange. Um, and it, it's it's gonna be tricky because it's gonna act like a lubricant for a couple seconds. And then once you get it on there, you're not moving it. So you wanna make sure that the grip's not like half twisted or anything like that. You want everything to be lined up. And that's the tricky part. So I'm gonna work on doing that right now. And then I'll cut back to you guys. All right, guys, so we got that on. We let it set up for about 10 seconds, which is all that takes. Um, this is really strong stuff. So as you can tell, still got great throttle response. The grip doesn't slide at all. Um, we're good to go. This side's done. Uh, it's really that simple. It's a super easy project, takes no time. And these grips, I think, were like 25 bucks. The throttle tube was 59, and that's all you need. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, get the other side done, which is just as easy. But I want to point out one thing. If these grips do wear down now or um, you decide you want to change them, they will have to be cut off, which is okay. They're soft rubber. They're easy to cut off, so it's not a big deal. But I just want you guys to know that and keep that in mind in case you didn't realize it. So like I said, this side's good to go. We're going to bounce over to the other side, and I'll show you guys what to do there. All right, so moving right along to the left side. We are flying through this project, but that's okay. Um, some of these easy projects are really nice um, in, instead of doing the ones that take a couple days. So we're going to take this bolt out right here. It's another Torx bit and you got one more on the bottom side again, as you guys have seen. Uh, so we're going to do that same thing. We'll pop this cover off and then I'll get back to you guys on the next clip. All right, so now that we've gone ahead and removed the cover, what you guys will find is this uh, grip on this side doesn't have a throttle tube. So obviously um, it stays in position which means it's glued. So you guys won't be able to necessarily just pull this side right off. What you're gonna wanna do is take a razor blade and come down and just slice this thing down the middle. It might take a couple times to get through to it, um, but just keep slicing down the middle and then you'll be able to peel the grip away. So I'm gonna do that in the meantime um, and I will get back to you guys once it's cut up and I'll show you what to do from there. So once you've got your grip split down the middle, from there you just wanna peel it away and pull it off the bars. It can be a pain, it might take a minute, but just keep working it and it will come off. And now what you're left with is all this residue on the bars. Um, you guys could take Goo Gone if you want and try to scrape this down, clean it up. But another option is since you do not see this and it's gonna be under the grip, you can take some Scotch-Brite and just work it back and forth. Um, just keep going because when you're installing that new grip, you don't want any of this stuff. You want a nice, clean surface. And if you don't have a clean surface, it might get hung up on the install. And that could actually um, cause you to misalign the grip. So go ahead, clean this up with whatever you prefer. Like I said, Goo Gone, a Scotch-Brite, whatever it is. You won't see this part, so don't worry about getting scratches on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean mine up as best as I can. Another part that, another trick that might work is just taking a razor blade and scraping this stuff off. So I'll get back to you guys once I've got it cleaned up and we're ready to put the glue down. All right, guys, we got that all cleaned up. Um, so what we did was I just used a razor blade and scraped off um, the big stuff, the majority of the stuff. And then I just used the scotch Brite from there to clean it up. I know you guys can see this, but you can't actually feel it. So there's nothing there that's going to hold me up. From there, we're going to go ahead and bolt our controls back together because... The new grip does not sit in here like the factory one did. So we're gonna go ahead and bolt this back up and then we'll be ready to throw the new grip on and finish this project up. 
Uh, before the outro, I wanted to add something in real quick. I realized I had my mirror flipped like this. The reason I did that is to allow myself more room to get this bolt um, out and in. So I did, I did go ahead and fix that before I left, but I wanted to let you guys know that you'll see that in the outro. So little blooper, but there you go. All right, thank you guys for watching. And just like that, we've wrapped up another project on the ST. Um, these grips are amazing. Uh, like I said, a link in the description will be down below. Um, I've had them on a couple bikes now. They are super soft. They offer a lot of cushion and they also offer a lot of grip too. So the Harley grips from the factory were smooth and they did offer grip, but it wasn't great and they did not offer any cushion really. So these offer a nice cushion and um, yeah, they're awesome. And, and totally in my opinion, if you guys don't like them, you don't have to rock them, but I love them. So figured I would show you guys the install process. It is really quick. It's really easy. Um, but just wanted to get it out to you guys in case some of you didn't know. Monday, stay tuned for a review on the Custom Saddleman uh, San Diego Custom Seat. Uh, it just came in. I've got about 100 miles on it, and I plan to ride it a bunch this weekend so that I can get you guys a good review and um, what I really think of the seat without just hopping on it, riding it once, and calling it good. So stay tuned for that on Monday. Again, um, I mentioned this in the last video. Once I hit 500 subscribers, I plan on doing a stage two build and fully recording it. You guys will get to see that. That's definitely something I want you guys to check out. So spread the word, tell all your friends to subscribe. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment down below. Um, once I get to 500, I'll place the order and we'll start the build. Again, thank you guys for watching the video. I really appreciate all the feedback and the support. Um, Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment down below, and I'll catch you guys on Monday.